Danny Day here with Corbin University head baseball coach Jeff McKay, and we are here for the 2017 Warrior Baseball season preview. Jeff, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. Good to be here. So, Jeff, we're coming off of a season in which Corbin came the closest it has ever come to qualifying for the NAI National Tournament. How do the guys respond in the offseason and work hard to make sure that this year's season is even more successful? Yeah, they uh, have responded really, really well. Um, we had a great fall, the best we've ever had. We have, we've had a really good off season. Um, the guys have come back after the break in great shape. Um, we've talked about, you know, being five outs better this year, and our guys are focused. Um, they understand what they have to do, um, you know, to be that five outs better, and they've really dedicated themselves well. Um, you know, being. You know, five outs away was tough on them, but but we've grown a lot as a program, I think, because of that, and uh, we're looking to to really bounce back and have a great year. So Corbin is the first collegiate baseball team from the Northwest to take the field in 2017, with the team's first games being just over a week away now. What is the team doing to prepare for the earliest start in program history? Yeah, we're, we're a beating the weather. We're inside and outside, um, but we're doing everything we can to prepare. Um, we have about two weeks here you know, from coming off the break. Um, but we needed to get those games early, in, in early, to prepare for the conference tournament. Um, and our guys have been, we did a couple of days of daily doubles. Um, but, uh, and I think the weather's going to cooperate enough that, you know, we're going to be ready one way or another. You scheduled a highly challenging non-conference schedule with all but two games being played down in California over the course of the next month. How are those games going to prepare Corbin for the NAI West and what is to come? Yeah, we expect um, those games to prepare us really well for a very tough conference race. Um, there's 20 games uh, prior to the um, in the pre-conference and a lot of very, very good teams. Uh, but we, we want it that way. We need to play really good teams to prepare for our conference. 20 road games. There's a lot of road games to start the year. Um, and we played very, very good teams. Um, last year we had the third hardest uh, schedule in, in, in all of NAIA, and I would expect uh, you know this year's schedule to maybe even uh, be a tougher. But you know we say to be the best, you got to go beat the best, and so we're looking forward to the opportunity to go play really good teams. A new look to the NAI West this year with the exit of Simpson. So now only the top three teams of the five-team conference will qualify for the NAI West Conference Tournament. What do you expect to see from the conference play in 2017? You know, Danny, I expect it to be as good as it's ever been. Um, Lewis and Clark State, um, you know, who is the defending national champion, um, they're as good as they've ever been. Um, so they're going to be tough. Um, the University of British Columbia, um, on paper, again, looks very, very good. They had a very good team last year. Um, College of Idaho has added some really good players. They return a strong core group of players. Uh, I see them being nothing but even better. Um, my expectation with Oregon Tech is also that they're going to be much better. So it's not getting any easier in our league. Um, it may be as good or the best NAI conference in the country, literally, especially with the limited amount of teams. Three of those teams that I'd mentioned earlier, you know, qualified for the opening round of the of the national tournament last year. So it's going to be a dogfight. We expect to be right in the middle of it, and um, it's going to be fun. You brought in a talented group of newcomers as well as a strong group of returners. Kind of talk about maybe who you're expecting big things from this year. Yeah, you know, we do have a lot of um, successful returning players, uh, more than we've ever had before at my time as coach. Um, we have that. We have five core seniors um, that have played a lot in the last three years and been integral part of our success. Jackson Smith, um, Ryan Rosas, uh, Vince Gonzalez, uh, Daniel Aranda, and Tony Davidson. And those guys over the last three years have really um, contributed a lot to this program. And they've really stepped up and, and um, kind of taken that experience um, and really led this club. And um, I expect them to have great years. And having that core players that really understand our culture, really understand um, how we want to do things, is going to be a really asset this year. It, it, it is our best recruiting class, especially um, at the junior college transfer level. Uh, Chris Jackson um, on the pitching staff is going to add a lot to our staff. So, um, you know, it, we have a lot of successful players. We have a lot of experienced players. 
Um, so that's going to bode well to a good season. What goals and expectations then, Jeff, have you set or will you be setting before this year's core baseball team? You know, obviously saying that our expectations are high. Um, you know, we, we um, play to be the best. And like I said, we're going to um, go a play to the, the best teams. My expectations just really border around because of all those returning players. They know what we need to do. So my expectation is that they're going to buy into the process. Um, they're going to do the things necessary, you know, to be able to come together as a team. Um, and they've really shown that they've done that. They're, um, they're a very focused group. They're a very committed group to each other. And so um, we're seeing the expectation is high. Awesome. Well, we're excited, Jeff. Thank you for joining us today again, and good luck on the field this year. Great. Thanks, Danny. Go Warriors.